Risk informs decision making. It's an expression you often hear when it comes to risk management and its value. But what does that really mean? Let's use a simple example to understand the classical approach to decision making. Assume we're trying to decide if we should or shouldn't go ahead with an option. First, we start by gathering information, the facts, figures and data. Using this knowledge, we weigh up the pros and cons and decide if the pros outweigh the cons, as they do in this example, that we should then go ahead and take action. So that's all well and good, but have we missed something? Have we been blindsided by all our facts and figures? We've looked at what we know to be true, or what we think we know to be true, so you could say we've explored the knowns. But what about the unknowns? Is there any uncertainty hiding there within or amongst the data? Now, let's use risk as an overlay and explore the unknowns through the lens of uncertainty. How certain are you that costs will not increase? How certain are you that external factors, such as foreign exchange rate, will remain unchanged? And how certain are you that long lead items will arrive on time? Have you enough float in the schedule? What other assumptions have you made on the completeness or accuracy of your data? And will the uncertainty have flow on unintended consequences? So back to the question, how does risk inform decision making? It does so by allowing us to explore the unknowns, that is, the uncertainty. So now, don't be satisfied in seeing half the picture by only exploring the knowns. Get the full picture and explore the unknowns as well. That way, you'll increase your chances of having made a fully informed decision.